what's going on guys so another highly requested day in the life video here i get so many requests and like dms from people asking if i can do another day in the life video and like when i think of what kind of youtube videos i want to make i always think okay how can i be as informative and as valuable as possible and then i just get people saying now we just want to see you know a day in the life just see like what you do on a day-to-day -day basis so uh without further ado here it is it's half past 10 now i've actually been uh, testing a few things out in terms of my sleeping schedule um it used to be like really really strict go to bed at 11 get up at half past six um straight into work mode then roughly two o'clock three o'clock i'd have a 20 minute power nap and then like power through the rest of the day and what i've been trying to do lately is get up at eight and really aim for at least eight hours of sleep and what I've actually noticed is that I don't need a power nap anymore and I'm much more productive because of it. Only downside is because I am getting up later, um, you know, work basically starts right away. So there's no time for me to read anymore, which I used to do. When I used to get up at half past six, I used to read for um, roughly 30 to 45 minutes. So can't do that. But other than that, you know, I am more productive. Not really liking getting up late. That's not like, um, like even though I'm enjoying feeling more rested, I don't like getting up late. I don't like being like one of the last people, uh, you know, the last person up in the house. Uh, but other than that, like I said, productivity is through the roof. So um, I'm going to try this for another week or so and then um, maybe switch back. So in terms of business, we have had, um, it's the 5th of March now. Um, like last month, February was probably one of the best months we've ever had. Um, and we've kept all our clients. We've signed a few more clients. Um, we've, you know, the retainers are higher. The results are better. You know, we are in a very, very good place. So we're trying to keep that momentum going. And um, we've signed. Uh, well, we've officially we've, we've got a verbal agreement for two clients. One of them has like paid and signed. The other one we're waiting for. Um, something went wrong with the payment or something like that. So we're getting that sorted today. So that's two more clients to add uh, to that. So um, we, you know, we're just getting. Um, like our people onto it, making sure they're onboarded properly or stuff like that. Also working on a case study that we can send to like prospects and potential clients. Uh, basically, when we reach out to businesses and companies, you know, we get them on a call as soon as possible. And during that call, we basically uh, pre-frame and see if they are a right fit for us. And what we want to do now is only take on calls of people that are warm leads that actually want to work with us. So the discovery call is basically going to get split up. Uh, like the, the whole scene of the right fit will be done with a case study video, like a mini webinar that we're going to send our potential clients. And then if they like what they see, if they want to work with us, then we get them on a call and you know just see how that works moving forward. Again, you know it's just one big split test. Um, like as soon as we finish working on or optimizing a, like a certain process or we automate it, we move on to something else. You know, how can we make this better? How can we make this more lean? How can we, you know, uh, spend less or maybe spend more, you know, to save up time, stuff like that. We just try and test and stay, you know, uh, try and optimize as much as possible. Anyway, um, to-do list here, I've written in my five minute journal, so that is all done and dusted. Um, so we're going to work on the to-do list, like a sort of work block, if you'd like to call it that, and just get on with the rest of the day. Yo bro, in terms of having clients in the UK and the US, um, that is very, very possible. Um, quick fact about me, I haven't actually got clients in the Netherlands where I am now based. All my clients are UK and US based. Um, we've even got a couple of clients in Australia as well. The reason for that is because it's much easier to work with UK and US based companies, um, especially the US, you know, the very, um, the culture is very masculine. And if you can explain to them during your pitch that um, they will have that edge over their competitors and that they will, um, you know, they will be leaving money on the table if they don't go with paid traffic and Facebook advertising and stuff like that. You know, it's a very easy close. And the Dutch culture is very much like the Swedish culture, as you mentioned, with the closed mindset. You know, the Dutch would much rather get someone to do it for free. For example, someone doing um, a business placement from school or anything like that. An intern to do it for free rather than you know pay someone to do a quality job. I couldn't agree with you more, Josh. 
I'm actually a business strategist, and I help people strive in their businesses. I right, so that is most of the DMs on Instagram reply to. Uh, lately, I've been getting quite a lot of DMs, like um, you know, 30, 40 DMs a day. Um, you know, for some of the bigger accounts out there, that is probably nothing. But um, it's I, I've been struggling to um, reply to most of them, especially because I am trying to limit my time on social media. Um, I think now, if I go into settings, it's like something like 23 minutes a day I'm on social media, which for me is much less than what it used to be. It used to be like three, four hours a day. Um, trying to limit that as much as possible so I can be as productive as possible. But, you know, I do sometimes forget to reply to DM and stuff like that. Um, nowadays, it is much easier because you can uh, reply by voice message, uh, which for me is much faster. Um, in terms of DMs, you know, if you have sent me a DM in the past and I haven't replied to it, um, apologies, like I said, you know, I am struggling to get, keep on top of that. Um, I don't get as many comments on YouTube, so, you know, if you have got something to say and you don't mind it being, like, on a public domain um, or, like, in public, then just comment on my YouTube videos. And normally, every morning, that's the first thing I do, I reply to YouTube comments, so um, leave a comment. Other than that... Work is going well, slowly taking off everything off the to-do list. A few more little things I need to do, but other than that, you know, we are on track. It's 11.40, so it's not even uh, noon yet, and most of the things that I need to get done today are done. Like I said, even though I'm getting up later, I am much more productive because I've got much more energy, whereas I used to be very, very tired, and I used to need at least three cups of coffee to be active. And now I've got my big bottle of water, two coffees, and I am fine. Ja, nee, dat sowieso, maar kijk, als je gewoon dit blijft doen, iedere dag, en ook gewoon echt serieus gewoon elke dag hier 30, minstens 30 minuten voor gaat zitten, dan komt het vanzelf wel, weet je. Gewoon, je weet nu precies wat je moet doen. Je hebt de video's bekeken, je hebt de modules bekeken. Yeah. Ja, dat is eigenlijk een goed advice. Daar heb ik I've written down somewhere, yeah. Because um, obviously I'm going to be adding more and more modules every single month. Um, and yeah, that is what the, the focus is going to be on next month. Um, let me check where it was. Well, I actually do really like that idea, especially just have like one little module in between and just saying, okay, now you need to uh, choose which financial vehicle you're gonna do. Yeah, really. Oh, that's that is sick, and that is within what? How long we've been doing this? So you started in December. All right. So yeah. Okay. So January. Yeah. But what, what does it? What do you mom and dad think that you've quit your job? Yeah, that is sick. Yeah, you're welcome, bro. Honestly, like, I've given the information, but you, you be the person that has done it. So, uh, no need to thank me. You know, it's, it's, uh, you've put the work in. So, uh, proud of you for doing that, and you know, glad that I've been able to to help along the way. I right guess so my work day is slowly coming to an end. It's half past three now. Um, we'll need to be going downstairs very soon to uh, pick up a package that is getting delivered um, between now and half past four. All right guys, so what we've got is two boxes of protein cookies, double chocolate. Best thing about these babies is that it almost is 40 grams of protein. So, a uh, great little protein booster. What else have we got here? Protein, wafers, waffles, no idea how you pronounce that. Again, 15 grams of protein. And what is this? Oh, protein cookie with a different flavor. What is it, chocolate orange? Love it. So for those of you that have been following the channel for a while know that I do get sponsored by my pro team. So uh, if you want any of these products, if you want to get them protein cookies with 40 grams of protein, or if you just want anything else from the protein store, for example, crew neck jumpers, uh, the first, or not the first link, but a link in the description box down below will actually give you 20% off if you use the discount code JoshuaNL. Only works in the Netherlands. Let me know if you guys want like a UK or US based discount code as well. I'll get that sorted with my protein. But like I said, guys, affiliate link, everything like that will be uh, linked in the description box down below. Uh, just got off a few calls with a few lifestyle design mastery students. Um, some of them doing really well. And I love the fact that they are also providing me with feedback on how to improve the course and stuff like that. I want to add like modules. Um, at least once a month, you know, just to make sure it stays fresh, stays evergreen, and just constantly improves as a course. 
Obviously, the goal is, you know, to get at least a thousand people to live life on their own terms. And if I can help along the way, you know, if I can help do that with Lifestyle Design Mastery, then that's a big win for me. Um, already got a few core students that have actually been able to quit their job, um, which is amazing to hear. But again, can't take the credit for that. Um, I probably had that, um, you know, placed the clip um, of the call before this clip. Um, you know, I, I think I already said to him, you know, it's I provide the information, but you know he put in the work. Um, so very grateful that I can actually be able to help along the way. But um, you know they need to put in the work, so it's not like you get the course and you earn six figures. No, you will need to put in the work. So just a little small reminder uh, for those that are in the course. You know you really do need to execute for this to work. Other than that, got a few little really good tips on how to improve the course and make sure that the flow. Um, like through the financial vehicles or of the financial vehicles is um, on point. Other than that, very, very productive day. Um, I think because, you know, I know I'm creating a, a video, a day in the life video, I'm more productive because I'm like, you know, I can't procrastinate now because, you know, I really need to get this video out. Um, but other than that, you know, the day's gone really, really well, got a lot of stuff done. Moving forward to Brampenair, moving forward to course, the agency is going well, you know, everything is up and running, got this momentum going now and really do need to keep hold of it. And you know, that's just as it guys, this is the, the last of lifestyle, you know, it might not be as glamorous but you know, every single day you've got a few little small wins, you know, you pick up the momentum, you get your to-do list, you, you finish your to-do list and just try and improve every single day and with that said i do want to wrap up this video so like the video if you got something out of it comment down below like i said you know instead of a dm send me a comment and i will reply as soon as possible or just comment what you thought of this video if you've got any other ideas for future videos just let me know in the comments down below thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one